Hello, my name is Jenny Beatrice, Director of Communications, and I would like to welcome you to our inaugural series of virtual community meetings. We are excited that we are able to gather in this new way. We know that technology is wonderful, yet it does create challenges for us. So I would like to review some of the Zoom features that we will be utilizing during our time together. Please note this tutorial is being recorded from a computer. For those of you who are joining us from a phone or tablet, the manner in which these functions appear will vary. First of all, we recommend that you set your screen to speaker view. This will make the speaker central on your screen with the participants scrolling across the top. This is opposed to gallery view, which displays a screen full of participants. Speaker view will make it easier for you to follow along. Click the icon on the top right of your screen to set your view style. As far as your microphone, we will have you muted throughout the presentations. However, there will be times you will be placed in small groups for discussion and you will need to turn on your microphone. The microphone control icon is on the bottom left of your screen. When you are muted, you will see a red line through the mic. Click on the mic icon to unmute yourself. Now for video, it's lovely to see one another's faces, but if you would like to turn off your video feed, you can hit the video icon, which looks like a camera. Turning off your video will display your screen name or profile picture to the other participants. The next feature I'd like to review is chat. Pay attention, we are going to ask you to use this feature now. The chat feature enables you to type a message to the group. The chat icon is at the bottom center and looks like a word bubble. Click on the icon to bring up the chat area. It will appear on the right of your screen. To type a message, go to the bottom of the chat area, make sure the to field is set to everyone, and click in the field where it says type message here. After typing, hit enter. At this time, we ask that you let us know you are here by typing your name in the field. This will be used to take attendance. If you are paired up on a computer, please type in the names of each participant. We will give you a moment to do that now. Thank you. I mentioned that there will be times you will be placed in small groups for discussion. These are called breakout rooms. We will be setting these rooms at random via Zoom. When it is time to go into a breakout room, you will see a pop-up screen that invites you into the room. Click Join to enter. When it is time to exit the breakout rooms, a countdown will appear on your screen. When complete, you will automatically be pulled back into the main Zoom. You do not need to take any action. Finally, there will be times we will utilize Zoom's polling feature. This enables us to ask you multiple choice questions and immediately display the results. When we are taking a poll, the question will automatically pop up on your screen. Simply select your choice and submit your answer. Please listen carefully to the instructions during polling. Well, that's it for our quick tutorial. Thank you for your adaptability in using Zoom. We appreciate your flexibility and are grateful for your presence.